In this video, I'm just going to show you how we're using FS Webcam to take pictures using a webcam plugged into the Raspberry Pi. Now, in this instance, I'm just going to use a VNC viewer to see what's going on with the Raspberry Pi and to obviously control it. So let's go down here. I've already logged into the Raspberry Pi on the VNC viewer. This is Type VNC. Just a free download. And I'm just going to double click onto the LX terminal to open it up. Now in here, if I just maximise that so we can see it. All I'm going to do, I've already downloaded and installed FS Webcam, so I'm now going to use the command that I've highlighted on the website uh, to get the Raspberry Pi to take images every set number of seconds in a loop. So here we go. So we start off with FS Webcam just to open the program, and now we need to set the device. So we say dash D forward slash dev forward slash video zero, because I know that that is the uh, webcam that's plugged in. You can find out your webcam device name by just typing ls space forward slash dev dev and you'll find your video devices listed there. So the next thing I need to do is set the resolution and in this instance it's going to be 800 by 600 and I need to set the loop which will be every 15 seconds and and then he's tell FS webcam where to actually save the output to. So I'm just adding this file name and I'm going to put uh, percent %y, percent %m, percent %d. Make sure that you have got a capital for y and lowercase for m and d for month and day. I'm going to put the time in so we'll have percentage hour, percentage minute percentage second and we'll finish off with the file extension which is going to be JPEG. So now I've actually put that command in I can just press enter and hopefully the Raspberry Pi will start to take images every 15 seconds. So there we go it's identified when the next image is going to be taken. It's opened up the device and there isn't a directory to save to because we haven't actually made the directory so let's cancel out of that. Control and C, and let's uh, simply make the directory that it needs to save the images to. And now we can just run the command again. All that happened there was the command just failed because, as you can see, uh, it said no such file or directory. There's no directory called images, so it couldn't actually save it to it. So let's try it again. Let's open the device, it's capturing the frame, it's captured the frame and it's written it to the relevant directory. Now it's just waiting for the next one for 15 seconds and it'll keep doing this. So we can see that this will carry on until we actually uh, cancel the command, so we'll press Ctrl and C to cancel out of that. And let's just check the images folder to see if we've got the image is saved in there, so we'll say ls home forward slash pi forward slash images to check the folder that we've just created. Press enter, and there we have one, two, three, four images saved. And we can see the time they've saved matches up to these here. So the last image that was successfully saved was uh, at 1.25 zero seconds which is this one here okay so we've got that working